This is the assembly process for the Brody valve cylinder assembly. For this project, you'll need a cylinder, cylinder head, piston, valve spring, seal ring, retaining ring, six retaining head screws, two jackout screws, and five elastomers appropriate for the product. You'll also need an Allen wrench, channel lock pliers, a suitable elastomer lubricant, a brush, and an extra set of hands. Start by placing the elastomer inside the cylinder, making sure that it's seated properly. Next, lubricate the elastomer. Insert the seal ring into the cylinder against the elastomer. Install the retaining ring over the seal ring. This process can be challenging. It's important to get the retaining ring seated in the groove. After the retaining ring is positioned by hand, use a pair of channel lock pliers to carefully seat the ring tightly in the groove. Try not to mar the outside cylinder finish during this process. After that's completed, flip the cylinder over. Fit the elastomer over the piston and lubricate. Carefully place the piston in the cylinder and push the piston until it stops against the seat O-ring. Then install the valve spring into the cylinder. It should settle easily into the middle of the piston. Place the elastomer in the groove on the cylinder head and lubricate. Place the cylinder head on the cylinder. Then have an assistant press down on the cylinder head as you align the holes. Use your Allen wrench to install two cylinder head screws. Once the two head screws are secured, you can do the rest on your own. Install the remaining cylinder head screws tightly. Again, flip the cylinder over. Install the two exterior elastomers on the cylinder. Both are identical. And lubricate prior to assembly in a valve body. Finally, locate the holes for the jackout screws and install the jackout screws. These will aid in the extraction of the cylinder assembly from the valve body if required. Your assembly is complete.